Hey everybody, I'm Elric and welcome back to another edition of New Egg TV. What are we rolling out for you today? Well, today we're going to be taking an unboxing and first look of one of AMD's professional series video cards. Now, this is their entry level W5000 card. This card's very reasonably priced, is geared for AutoCAD, for Maya, and that type of stuff. So it's going to be great in 3D applications and that type of thing. For those professionals out there, this is something you're going to really want to take a look at. So with that said, let's jump in, let's check out what comes in the box and the features of this new card from AMD. All right, folks, so before we dig into the box, let's actually talk about some of the features. Now, this new card comes with 768 stream processors, 48 texture units, 32 ROPs, it has an 825 megahertz core clock, features two gigabytes of GDDR5 memory running at 3.2 gigahertz and a 256 bit memory interface. The card also has a 75 watt TDP. It features 2.8 billion transformers and works with Maya, AutoCAD and others and has a three year warranty. So here as we take a look at the back of the box, we can see some of the important features that this card has. Right here at the top, it says the AMD Fire Pro W5000 Workstation Graphics Card delivers a broad range of features and capabilities to CAD and MIDI designers. Using the latest AMD graphics architecture, this mid-range graphic card delivers the perfect balance of power, performance, reliability, and price. Then we have some of the features. Optimization and certification for major CAD and ME applications with 1.27 teraflops of single precision and 79.2 gigaflops of double precision performance. Now you guys can see it's based on 28 nanometer architecture, has AMD PowerTune and zero core power technologies, has some other features over here, full 30 bit display pipeline, like I said before, DirectX 11, OpenCL 1.1, and OpenGL 4.2. And last but not least, obviously, the iFinity technology. I'm going to go ahead and just pop the cap on this little box right here and pull the box out of the box. Set that off to the side over there. You guys see, like usual, always a box within a box within a box. It's the thrill of it all. So, okay, here we go. Ba-boom. We open the box. You can see it's got all this padded stuff right here to take care of everything. In fact, I'll actually flip it around the other way the cards in this way. So go ahead and start pulling the stuff out one by one here so we can take a look at it. Not really too much to this. Pretty simplistic on the content. As you can see, I got it all in my hand here. Now let's go over it. Starting off, we have the quick installation guide. Standard display port to DVI via an active cable. Crossfire connection cable. And this right here is the stereoscopic 3D three pin plug. On some of the higher level cards, this connection is on the back of the card in the rear IO, but on this card, it comes in a breakout bracket that also connects to the card itself. So now let's get to the card. Go ahead and take it out of its anti-static packaging. And this one will go ahead and we'll start off on the rear IO. You guys can see the rear I.O. features two 1.2 standard display ports and a DVI connection. Flip around the card to the back, you guys can see there's a single crossfire connection, so you won't be doing any quad crossfire, you'll only be able to do two cards with this particular one. This card's pretty much designed to be very well priced and competitive. You guys can see right here, here's the nomenclature of the card for those wishing to seek it out and purchase it. Turn around to the front of the card. You can see we have a single fan technology. The Fire Pro W5000. Now this card's very, very small and compact. It'll probably fit in almost any system. Has some copper fins right there to help keep it running cool. Then down at the bottom right here, we have the PCI 3.0 interface. Now, one thing you guys are going to notice about this card is that this card requires no additional power connections whatsoever. The power straight to the PCI, that's why it has a TDP of 75 watts. So right here also on the card, I want to show you guys this little clip right here. You can get in there. This little clip right here is where this goes. This plugs into this, and that's how you get the capability of the stereoscopic 3D plug. 
So there you have it. This has been our unboxing and first look of AMD's latest Fire Pro W5000 video card. Now this thing is very well priced for the entry level professional user who wants to get their hands on a card that'll perform very well for them, but still won't break the bank. Like usual, I hope you guys like this video. If so, hit that like button and make us know that we're appreciated here on Newegg TV. And if you're not subscribed, please make sure you do so. See you later.